What are your thoughts on the legalization of hingeless doors? Hingeless doors? Yes, sir. Um, well, if it's a hingeless door, how would it, like, open? By sliding. Oh, that's what you mean? I'm stupid, I'm You're sorry. You're so uneducated. Yeah, I I'm know. Disappointed. What's your favorite kind of sauce? Does ranch count? Yes. What's your favorite kind of sauce? Ranch. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite kind of sauce? Fry sauce. Thank you for your time. What's your favorite kind of sauce? Sauce? Bro. Barbecue? Who are you kidding? <laughs> What's your favorite kind of sauce? Uh, ultimate fry sauce from JCW's. Which is better, screws or nails? Nails, because they're not jacked. Thank you for your time. What's your favorite kind of sauce? Spaghetti sauce. Watch me. What's your favorite kind of sauce? Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite kind of sauce? Um, ketchup? Really? What's your favorite kind of sauce? I like the dressing on Cafe Rio's, the creamy cilantro yumminess. Mm -hmm. it, it's good with anything, just not salad. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite type of sauce? Sauce? Sauce. Like sauce sauce? Or like like <laughs> sauce. Like sauce? Spaghetti sauce, Spaghetti sauce does like hit differently. Yeah, you're right. Sure, I'll go along with that. Spaghetti sauce. Alright. That's great. Right. We got spaghetti sauce. It's better. Nails or screws? Screws. Why? Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite kind of sauce? Thank you for your time. Yeah. Yo, Gravy, is that a new mug? Yeah, man. It's my boy, Donny Trump. Love this dude. What do you love about him? Hi, welcome to Channel 12 News. This is Gravy, your least favorite anchor, and today we'll be taking an inside look at Disney princesses and where they are now. Cindyella, if you ever want your phone back, meet me in the tech atrium. Charlie Princeton, I knew you had something to do with this. <laughs> Whoa. It was my phone. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, the bibbity bobbity boom never lasts the whole day. Cindy, don't worry. I'm into brunettes. Let's just uh, move on to the next princess. Yo, what's up, everybody? I got a little merm with me. A uh, former Disney princess, then certain animal rights activist, and now SoundCloud rapper. How you feeling, Lil Marm? Yo, so dope today. Thanks for having me in no here. No problem, man. Uh, so, what do you think of those turtles since you're Yo, them turtles, they are my homies, bro. I would give my life for them turtles. Nice. What about the tortoises? Nah, bro. We are not feeling those vibes. Not the tortoises? Nah, the oh, turtle vibes. Bad vibes. Yeah. My bad. My bad. 
Uh, so we hear that you got a new song. I do, out. I yeah. do. Would uh, you mind uh, performing for I us? I would love to, yeah. Awesome. yeah. You want to be my background vocals for this oh, one? Sure. Right, I got gotcha. you. All right, all right. Choke on bag turtle dead in the sand. Go on and eat them beans. Hey, that's just a snippet for y'all. That's all we got here today. Thank you so much for having me. No problem, man. Thank you for joining. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Have a great day, y'all. Let's check back on Sleeping Beauty. Thank you for joining us on this. Um, insightful journey. Uh, tune in next time for our story about a homeless e-boy who was fired for making an intelligent argument on national television. Wait, what? Get out. We don't do that here. Hi, my name's Lam, I'm from Vietnam. Hello, I am Johannes, and I am from Denmark. What's up, everybody? My name is Anna, I'm from Ukraine, and I'm the hottest exchange student sophomore here. Hi, I'm Elena, and I'm from Spain. Awesome. All right, what is your guys' favorite part of America? I'm not sure about that, but uh, I love Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is pretty good. It's, yeah, it's very easy to hang out and, like, Go to cheap, like it's called fast food restaurants, and go eat a lot. So that's really very nice. What are some major cultural differences between your home and America? Um, here in America, you don't you use basement just for a living. That's ridiculous. Like, because everybody knows that the basement is actually made for your babushka pickles and jam. Or would you rather live in another state? Well. I like Utah, but I would like to live <clears throat> in Vegas. Um, what are some traditions from your home country that aren't celebrated here? Like we don't celebrate Christmas like you guys. Yeah, we just like a small Christmas. We're like, yeah, it's not really a big party. We don't really celebrate like Halloween or, and we celebrate, so Christmas on the 24th, so everything happens on the 24th. So we also like open presents and like eat all the food on the 24th, not on the 25th. I love the Soviet Union here. It's they great. buy lots of stuff. Least favorite American food? Mm. My favorite is Cafe Rio. And my least favorite, I love every food, so. I don't have a least favorite. This message to Principal Q. Can we make a Soviet Union club? How do you pronounce Mercedes? In Vietnamese? Yeah. Mercedes. Mercedes. Okay. And you want to say the F word in Vietnamese? <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite thing about Harriman High School? Mm, the people. They are nice and friendly. And also, it's very easy to study here, so... Actually, in the did 70s. you know that actually the true communist here is lamb? Yeah, that's <laughs> Are there any interesting secrets you want to say about your host family? They Vietnamese. I don't really have anything. They were really nice, so I'm happy. Me too. What are some things that you miss the most about home? Food, <laughs> like honestly, <laughs> food. Oh, my varanike and borscht and my babushka. Oh, like really. What are some traditions from your home country that aren't celebrated here? Holy Week. <laughs> <laughs> so if I would show you a picture, it will be like the Cuckoo Clan, but they are good people. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that Americans are stupid? Let's, Maybe I'd say I don't know. <laughs> I would say your education system is um, it's a bit different in in what the things you learn. So some things there's um, it's definitely lacking some information on different parts. But I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say stupid. No. She will like give you food even if you like I don't know dying from obesity. What's a babushka? What's a babushka? 
babushka is like the most wonderful person in the world. The person that will like feed you all the time and give you money is like your grandma. Um, we have some funny examples. I've been asked if we have cars in my country or if we had internet, if TV was a thing. And to all those things, I of course said, no, we don't. We still ride horses, no internet, and we live in dirt houses. What are you glad to have gotten away from? Babushka. <laughs> <laughs> Hej mor og far. Jeg elsker jer, savner jer, og håber, at jeg kommer tilbage snart. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It means I count from 1 to 10. Why do you say that as a message to your family? Okay, do it again. Do it again. Hola. En verdad no os echo de menos. Pero bueno, me han dicho que os diga que os echo de menos, así que... Баба Галя, вони мене не годують, я взагалі дуже голодна, хочу їсти, хочу вареників, борщу. Я ме. Кон я ме. Ту, пельменів, пельменів з отстом, до речі. Give a shot of me sleeping. Yo, what's up, Sharquel? I'm about to tell you about my morning routine. First thing I do, I wake up, take a long shower. <laughs> the girls are in there, I pretend like I'm talking to one. You know, usually they ask for my math homework or whatnot, but still, it's good. It's good practice. Yo, hit the water. That's good, that's good. Oh yeah, that's real nice. <laughs> that's good. I... <laughs> you know, my boy Eugene, we've been together since day one. Found him in my closet one day. You know, he was chilling in there. I said, that's cool. We live together now. Yo, I must have forgot to pick up my girl last night. <sighs> Yo, Eugene, <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> God. Eugene, Eugene, I swear. Anyways, after that, I go upstairs. I eat, I eat you know, champions of breakfast, Pop-Tarts, strawberry. Preferably cherry. Uh, after that, I basically get in my car, my whip, you know, that's what, that's what we call it. The girls like that, you know. I get in and I drive to school like this. You know, demographically, lesbians buy this car, but in my case, we got two things in common. We both picking up chicks, <laughs> know what I'm saying? Anyways, I forgot my keys. And then I, I blast some of the coolest music around. That's really about it. Hey, Shadi. Sorry, I just like to make another entrance. <sighs> All right, we're pulling up right now. I see a few, a uh, few baddies. Oh, those are dudes. Never mind. So hard, parked in the virtue seat lane. So cool. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking trash can. <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Yo, I own the school and whatnot. I got a full ride last year for being so awesome. I'm actually a starling schooler. I earned about you know twenty dollars for that. It was pretty awesome. Got a free meal out of it. Um, yeah, for the last six months or so, I've been developing my own remedy for. Uh, you know, my anti-itch medicine, it's been going pretty well. Um, can't really say much else besides, you know, I get a lot of girls, Valentine's Day, still haven't been asked, but there's only like one day till the dance, like there's still a lot of opportunities. Oh, you feel this? It's boyfriend material. Yo, what's up? You know, one day I saw this girl crying in the hallway. I decided to save a girl's life today. I went up to her and said, what's up, baby girl? Turns out it was the worst day of her life. Score. Oh, Sarquel? 
Well, last week I failed my physics test and Mr. Romanello called me stupid. And then right after that, I go to choir, audition for a solo. I've been waiting three years to get a solo, didn't get it again. Walk out into the hallway, next thing I know, Sharquell's hitting on me for the 16th time today. Just when you think it can't get any worse, Sharquell always manages. Yo, girl, if I order you McDonald's, order the McGorgeous. So the other day I was walking down the hallway and I thought the football team had set off an axe bomb. It smelled disgusting. Turns out I had just walked past Sharquell. Does that dude literally bathe in the stuff? I thought I could see this cloud of stink just emanating from him. It was awful. Dude. <laughs> oh yeah, Sharquell? Yeah, he must be getting kind of desperate because he tried picking me up one time, but uh, kind of cute though. That was a dude. I don't have my glasses on, but still. <laughs> oh, did you forget your number? Yeah, I did. Can I get yours? And how's that working out for you? You know, it has its benefits. You know, I would say today was a pretty successful day. Picked up a lot of baddies. Uh, lunch lady came through with that cake. Really, you got to see what I did in a day-to-day -day basis. And thanks for watching. All right, cut. Jeez, thanks guys. Really appreciate you having me on the show. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna go back to my mom and uh, talk to her about my ointment because I didn't put it on last night. But uh, really enjoy it. If you guys wanna come back to my crib, that's what you all call it, right? Dap, dap me up. All right, all right, I'll see you guys there.